Games are a source of refreshment, whether they are physical or digital, but for some people their terminal is everything. So, what about playing games in the terminal? In this video, I'm going to tell you about 10 games that you can play in your terminal. So, let's get started. Our first game is Ninvaders. It's a clone of the classic Space Invaders arcade game, where you control a laser cannon and shoot descending aliens. The goal is to destroy the waves of invaders before they reach your base. You can install this game simply by typing the following command in your Linux terminal. NetHack is another cool game you can play in your terminal. One of the oldest and most complex roguelike games, NetHack is a text-based dungeon crawler where you explore deep dungeons, defeat monsters, and seek the amulet of Yendor. It features permanent death, so each game is unique. You can install this game by typing the following command in your Linux terminal. The third game on our list is Moon Buggy, a simple side-scrolling game where you control a moon buggy, moving across the lunar surface, jumping over craters and obstacles. The moon buggy moves automatically, and you must type your jumps correctly to avoid crashing into craters. It's fast-paced and requires quick reflexes. Install this game by typing the following command in your Linux terminal. Number four on my list is Greed. Greed is a snake-like game where you consume numbers on a grid, and your goal is to make your snake as large as possible. The higher the number you eat, the more steps your snake will take. You navigate the grid to consume numbers, and the game challenges you to avoid getting stuck in a dead end. Type the following command in your Linux terminal to install this game. Next on our list is Nudoku, a terminal-based version of the popular Sudoku puzzle game where you fill a 9x9 grid with digits from 1 to 9. Each row, column, and 3x3 square must contain each digit exactly once. Three subgrid must contain all digits without repetition. Solve Sudoku puzzles at various difficulty levels within the terminal. You can type the following command in your terminal if you want to install this game. 2048 is a terminal version of the sliding tile puzzle game 2048, where you combine tiles with the same numbers to create higher values, aiming to reach the number 2048. Slide numbered tiles on a 4x4 grid. When two tiles with the same number touch, they merge into one, doubling their value. The objective is to get a tile with the value 2048. Type the following command in your terminal to install this game. Crawl is a complex roguelike dungeon crawler game featuring a rich, randomly generated world, turn-based combat, permadeath, and a deep RPG experience. It's known for its challenging difficulty and strategic gameplay. Play. You pick a class and race and venture into dungeons, facing monsters, gathering loot, and leveling up. Your goal is to survive, acquire powerful items, and defeat enemies. Type sudo apt install crawl in your terminal to install this game. Number 8 on our list is BSD Games. It's a collection of classic Unix games, including games like Tetris, Snake, and Adventure. These games vary in complexity and offer a nostalgic look back at early terminal gaming. It includes many simple games, from arcade to text-based adventures. Just type sudo apt install install BSD games in your terminal to install this collection. Next on our list is Bastet, a twist on the classic Tetris game, but with a frustrating catch. The game deliberately chooses the worst possible pieces for you to fit. It tests your adaptability and skill in a more challenging version of the original. Play Tetris, but expect to receive the hardest blocks, making it more difficult as the game progresses. Type sudo apt install Bastet to install this game on your Linux machine. Last but not least, we have Robot Finds Kitten, a quirky and light-hearted text-based game where you play as a robot searching for a kitten. The game randomly generates a grid with various objects, and your goal is to find the kitten among them. The other objects offer humorous and random descriptions when examined. Move around the grid and interact with objects to see if they are the kitten. If not, the game gives a funny or bizarre message about what the object is. The game ends when you find the kitten. Type the following command to install this game. These games are made for your terminal, so that you can refresh your mind after hacking into your grandmother's computer. There's no use of a mouse in this scenario, and all of these games can be played using only your keyboard. I've pasted a one-liner in the description if you want to install all these games at once. All right, that's all I have for your mind refreshment. You can also refresh my mind by smashing the subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you for watching.